what I do is I take the tomatoes and I put them in a coffee grinder and um, grind them till they're the consistency that I want and then I add it to some water and that's how I make my tomato paste or mixture for the chili. Okay, so we have some various, oh my gosh, oh they smell so good. Um, cherries, cherry tomatoes that I um, dehydrated from last year. So I'm going to go ahead and do a load of those. Oh, this smells so good. I'm going to, these are my saladettes, and I usually throw in a little bit of these. And a couple handfuls. Dehydrated uh, jalapenos with seeds. So that's about eight or ten. Throw those in. I already put some water in the pot of chili and um, I'll just dump this right in this and thicken up. So just add that into uh, some slicers. Um, all the different types of tomato give different flavors to the chili. Oh, yeah, adding those jalapenos, that was good. Okay, I need a little bit more liquid. More liquid. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. That's what it looks like when you put the powder in. You see there's a mushroom left over from the other night's dinner. So, I think... I will do some paprika. So we have paprika and some ground cumin, chili powder from Aldi's. Okay, and I just kind of eyeball everything. So this is the cumin. I usually put about two teaspoons. Paprika, two teaspoons. It's an herb mixture, it's not just parsley. It's a little bit of herbs from the garden, it has some thyme, some basil, and then about a tablespoon of chili powder, and then I just season it as I need to throughout the afternoon. So the good thing about using a Dutch oven is I can put everything in here, get it to temperature, put the lid on, and turn it off, and it continues to cook for a while. And there you have it. Vegetarian Let's see, I think it was a four bean chili with dehydrated tomatoes in it. The tomatoes, as they, they get reconstituted, you know, they're beautiful.